Well, a P-71 police car could be yours if the price is right. Includes lights on the dash, blinking lights everywhere, but uh, that's not why we're here on a Sunday, is it? Hello and welcome. Welcome to Trucking Answers. It's the Sunday rant. And uh, while we're looking at police cars to drive around, we're also going to talk about our buddy because he's back in the news today, Chris Spear. You know, he loves watching Trucking Answers, I assume. And uh, anyway, he came out, I don't know why, somebody smacked him on the back of the head and said, why don't you go comment on the uh, union uh, problem over at Yellow. You know, Yellow closed a few weeks ago, remember? Re depending when you watch this, might be seven years ago. So the closing of Yellow and now Chris Spear, who's the head of the ATA, came out and said, hey, I need to talk about this. And what he said is, of course, what you'd expect Chris Spear to say is be on the driver's side. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm in an alternate world. He said it's 100% the labor problem. Those drivers ran this place out of, ran that place out of business, he said. They ran them out of business by their crazy demands of wanting to get paid. What the heck is he talking about? Let's get this straight. I talked about it in my award-winning podcast. I've talked about it here. Just a number of years ago, Yellow received $700 million, all right? And they didn't pay it back, and they still went broke. They have been mismanaged for years. Drivers at Yellow have been giving money back for I don't know how many years, 15 years, pay cuts, benefit cuts. And remember, a benefit cut is a pay cut. If you say, I will take less of this benefit, uh, less retirement, whatever it is, that's a pay cut because that's money you're not going to get. If they agree to a increase in the benefit cost, if your insurance goes from $50 a week to $100 a week and you don't get a pay raise, you lost 50 bucks. Okay, that's a pay cut. Remember that. Can't say, well, you're getting the same pay. No, you're not taking home the same pay and that's what matters. So they've constantly agreed to this. And finally, Yellow again said, well, we need you to take another cut because we don't have, we couldn't manage ourselves out of a paper bag. And the drivers are finally like, no, we're not doing it. You figure it out. They constantly, they bought up tons of companies, never merged them. So they had all these companies running all over the place. Well, the CEO and all the top executives continued to get tens of millions of dollars a year. You didn't see them taking any kind of 25% pay cuts or anything. No, never. And then Yellow's like, oh, we're also going to not put any money into this agreed, this agreed deposit into one of your benefit plans. We're not going to pay that. It was an agreed amount. And the driver's are like, no, we're going to go on strike. I mean, Yellow's like, well, I'll wait a minute now. All right, we'll pay it. And then right before they're going to pay it, they go, we're closed. Did they, did they cut any of their own pay or anything? No. And what I love the most, Chris Spear said, uh, this is great. This guy's got the chutzpah of a hundred men to come out and say, I talked to our member companies at, uh, you know, over here at the ATA, and I've asked them to take on the drivers from Yellow. I'm like, right. What self-respecting driver for Yellow is going to an ATA company? Hey, uh, here's an idea. Chris Beard says, all you drivers from Yellow, why don't you come and work at one of our companies and we won't pay you for your time. You can come here and work for free for one of us. That's how we stay in business because we just exploit our workers, all of our companies, by not paying them for all their time, not paying them for all their miles, not paying them for being gone. Come on over here. I'm trying to help. I'm really trying to help. That's unbelievable. That's a, that'd be like some uh, place in the early 1800s saying, hey, why don't you come and work for me here in, uh, you know, Louisiana? Come on. Come on. How many yellow drivers went to an ATA company? Not many. And rightly so. Unbelievable that he came out of the woodwork to say this was just the most amazing. There's a pair on this guy. It's got to be incredible to come out and say, hey, well, I'm doing my best for those drivers. Get real. His pay also in the millions of dollars a year K 
keep that in mind over a million i don't remember what it is so i don't remember if it's eight and a ten or if it's, it's something over a million as well so that's awesome but never think no matter what the news tells you or chris spear that this had anything to do with drivers at yellow yellow was mismanaged for over a decade they couldn't figure themselves out of anything and even with 700 million dollars they couldn't keep themselves running more than a couple of years. And that was it, and it, it's done. And that's what happens. So uh, hopefully the drivers from Yellow are saying to Chris Spear, thanks, but no thanks. You're better off holding up a sign on the street corner than some of these ATA member companies, okay? And that is the truth. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Here I end the podcast, and we'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers.